Who does Breckles? So it's another day, man. Like I said, it's it's fall time. It's getting difficult to sleep outside. Uh, I'm managing little by little. Last night was difficult. It was very cold, but you know, I, I have to modulate somehow. So the point I'm making is, how are you telling the fucking award-winning directors, right? Investors at Google, Microsoft, and Nintendo's uh, third-party development team, and other animators all over that they fucking broke because you guys made an memetic uh, civilization about fucking fraud and chicanery and lies you sell. Y'all are fucking sick and indel in in uh, indelibly stupid, man. Because the whole thing is they didn't even want me to live this long. They tried to kill me several times. And y'all got stuck on stupid uh, selling lies to yourselves and your peers that ain't fucking real. In fact, you realize you can make an entire fake mnemonic town uh, about a person you're trying to capture, right? Um, and lie your whole way into bankruptcy and never have real fucking work. And it's pathetic. It's, it's so sad. I cannot believe I'm seeing this. Uh, I'm actually seeing people stand around. And lie to save they fucking asses. It's pathetic. I don't know when they became just desperate. You know, it's gonna have to matter though the work you're doing. I'm seeing kids now still trying to get diplomas and go to school. I saw a woman earlier today studying in a textbook in a laundromat. I don't know how to tell her. Don't even bother. You know, there's really nothing for you to work for. <laughs> you know, if one plus one doesn't equal two, there's no amount of sophistication and skills you have that's gonna get you there. So, I'm just hoping all this resolves itself. You know, I talked about in-home banking. I talked about. Um, or the civility and things like, you know, commerce and just, you know, math, science and art, you know, how every industry has to work together. Money is a paid thing, right? It's not all debts and legal tender. It's just some, right? Because you, most, many of you fucking chose vagrancy. So anyway, I went to uh, 7-Eleven 50th Street today. I think it's like, what is that? That's a, It's like a little Lamborghini, Bugatti, Bentley dealership on uh, the west side of Manhattan today and I just basically went in there to serve them my fucking name so I don't know what to tell you guys uh, they shot me for work I did in Lamborghini in 1996 never got paid unless you guys are still selling these cars and claiming you you, you actually valid y'all are disgusting mm. there's no reason to count money around y'all this is the same crew that tried to kill me for work I did at MTV uh, Power 105 WBLS I mean y'all basically stole every fucking platform that I, we made music on just because you knew that you could fuck with one guy uh, and, and put all the bankruptcy on my name and then just used memetics and mind control and drugs to keep me sick until I couldn't figure out what the fuck I was doing. But that's the catch is I had extraordinary skill about biotech. I've been playing piano since I was age five. You guys claim I was too good at it. All right, listen to the song Michael Jackson, Beat It. All right? All right? I did not do those that guitar riff for free. All right? I had no choice. They were going to kill me. All right? All right? It was kidnapping and murder. You either do the shit or you fucking die. That's how it was. It was an entire town of people going vagrant from bipolar disorder, from cocaine abuse. You guys have too many cocaine overdoses, all of a sudden your decision making don't make sense. You see? You can't even justify five hours of work. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. You see? That's what it is, all right? So you basically try to take kids and torture them until they obey you. So now you're going to come back around, you're going to speak to Grimm. Because we don't need y'all fucking vagrants around stipulating a fake market, around chicanery and shit you steal, and lies you sell and abuses you permit, all right? So you're going to grow the fuck up and get real credentials. I'm telling you right now. So that's it, friend. I walk in there. I serve them a real name, a real ID, and I bounce. There they, they ain't much to say about Lamborghini dealerships in Manhattan. That's got to be the most fake chicane shit ever. Uh, we don't even want y'all fucking talking shit about me. Donald Trump had the audacity to say that he doesn't want cars built in Latin America, sold in the United States. Don't even fucking try it. Papa Pump will end up in jail before... You know, this fucking fiasco of his uh, presidential campaign gets resolved. You guys are basically saying you got to shoot your way into office now? You're saying I'm one of the Bin Ladens? Y'all ridiculous. Y'all motherfucking pseudo-thugs are disgusting. That's what you are, you're pseudo-thugs. You're just trying to act tough. You don't have real reasons to fight, you see? So stop projecting your anger against a pistol or a drug or a knife. It's not going to save your ass. Everybody got them, right? You're just sick. You're just falling out with your own selfishness and your pride. And it's eating you from inside. It's a disease that's making you sick. So go the fuck up, right? That's your own bile. That's the chemical and oxidation in your cells caused by malnutrition and unhealthy habits. And just generally overall neglect of your own uh, you know, personal welfare and well-being. I, I don't need to see y'all coming around selling fake pills and pharmaceutical shit and bullshit around me. You're going to sell this mnemonic shit until it gets you sick and killed. So you need to go the fuck up, right? I'm serious. Right? You're going to end up under the jail. On other planets. Consider wisely. So look, I don't know what to fucking tell y'all, man. This market shit is disgusting. I had several fake weddings. I think I got shot by, what, a, a supermodel and like two fucking pop divas now. And y'all still ain't have a damn fucking story. These women went to prison, um, basically either died of suicide or they were executed or they're still there. 
that's the thing is these high level cases such that with people who have nanotech now they can't just sit in a prison cell they could work from anywhere you know they could even send information uh wherever they are so they got to get those implants removed or they got to get that fucking bullshit canceled i mean y'all basically trying to dump nasa on my resume remember i told you in my last video they basically shot me and, and and tried to destroy a nasa rocket with my name on it claiming that i was like in debt half what i think it was like many billions of dollars before i was even age five i don't even know how i survived i just woke up in my father's driveway talking to one of my father's brothers and they said someone brutally mutilated you and hurt you bad you know we just need you to stay civil as a young man and try to keep your career put together and intact and i didn't have the ability to summon the anger when i was a kid i was vulnerable when I turned 18, I had to have my people. I spoke to my mother. I spoke to her sisters. I was like, is there something you guys want to tell me? Because you guys never had a real fucking story. And they just sat around looking stupid and they said, no, we don't really know what to tell you. you know. And so another 18 years went by and I was like, all right, I gave you enough time now where I could have a son and he could turn into an adult. All right? So that now you guys get fucking canceled because we know you ain't have a story, right? You know, we've seen several brands turn over. We've seen large, large companies. Uh, rebuild their entire investment portfolio around experimental art, around risks that are, we took as, as artists, not even me, even generations before me. You know, the ill-ass animators, artists, the developers that actually had a real story to tell about their skills, you know, still showing up trying to act like your thugs, right? So you fucking try that shit, we're going to cancel you motherfuckers, for real. I'm not fucking around, all right? Money really counts us for something. Obviously it does. You see me walk in the store and put a dollar down for a coffee, you fucking clam at that shit, all right? I was in a fucking 7-Eleven. I bought some Pepperidge Farm cookies, right? This guy had the audacity to act like he didn't even know what this object was. And he was looking for the barcode like he was confused. Like, because he knew out of desperation, he can't even really scan this in front of me and actually make me pay for it. Right? Because right away, he canceled his own fucking job. You guys are looking at agricultural deals or farming deals mixed with um, commissaries, large, large commissaries, or really, you know, uh, industrial baking, uh, where they sell products all over the country, right? But we can't have y'all selling fake and promoting vagrancy in the stores and the communities around you and bankrupting yourselves and even your own families and your own career just to lie and stipulate a part of the market that's fraud. So go the fuck up. We're going to have to do real business, all right? And these guys are right. It's pretty pathetic at this point how underlying commerce is when people have to lie to make money. You're not really going to get far with that. It's, it's actually structurally fraud. So you know, the point I'm making is you give a guy biotech, you tell him to turn into a mime, which is a funny joke that the French have about people that kind of have to play the back and have extraordinary skills and still fucking push their way out of a box and not be able to speak. That's pretty pathetic, friends, but you, you're not going to lie everywhere you fucking go and make metaphors about memetics and, uh, you know, you know, people that are basically super soldiers for what is it, the industrial trade. We don't fucking need y'all talking shit every day. So that, that means your industrial deals get canceled. You're not going to ride my fucking name to bankruptcy. We're going to see you on the other side, right? So you end up in felony arrears and your companies get dropped, right? And even your patents get sold. We don't need y'all selling fake around us. So you're going to come with real fucking money and you're going to pay for respect. It'll be the last time we fuck with you. You heard that for real. You heard that for real. I'm not playing. All right? So it ain't nothing nice. You know, I had I maintained my civility as a young man. In my young adulthood, I did the same thing. All I got for it was a banquet of violence and torture. So you want to try that shit? That's fine. You know? But I'm going to solve your asses. Man, that's what I'm saying. You, you, you see the good kids play along for a while. All of a sudden, it ain't nothing nice anymore. All right? So get ready to grow the fuck up. Get ready to do real work, too. Get ready to do real work, all right? So, like I said, I see you guys wearing the Batman shirts, all this fucking technology. My friend, don't fucking try. You didn't pay for none of that shit. By the time you bought all this fucking t-shirts and shit, you could have come to me directly and make sure I got paid, all right? So, I'm going to I'm gonna tell you a story that sums up. I, I got, I have, I'm eight minutes into this video. I'm going to figure out something to reconcile today because, you know, like I said, sleeping on the streets is miserable. But I did it for, what is it? Yeah, actually five months, almost six months now. It's actually not that bad. It's just in the winter time, it's impossible in New York. And I'm not going to fucking homeless shelter. You're not telling me that one of Gmail's investors got shot. I'm not, I'm not going to Google to get shot either. I told you what the trick is, right? You walk in, there's security at the door. He tells you to leave. Come back in two hours, right? You come back in two hours. They have you standing there with a whole crowd of people. And when they're done, they're just looking to get a gun to shoot you. That's basically what Google is. You know, there's no real work there. That's why we had to cancel y'all dollars. Y'all step the fuck out and step to the side. Google's an old high school that got shut down for rape and torture. We don't need y'all talking shit, all right? Y'all y'all predictably abusive. So I'm going to tell you what it is. The real work is done by people that get it done all hours of the day, no matter what. I don't give a fuck about what your corporate title is. We don't. We talked about last video about suits. We, you're not wearing suits, right? It's hoodies. You work for Ariel, all right? So, you know... You stipulate a business with your biotech development platform. You can use nanotech. You can use colloidal silver. You can use any systems you have. Those people are now with biotech. You just use your own genetics to stipulate information on the cloud, right? I mean, you don't think your body has more conductive power than a cell phone? Look at how much work your cell phone can do, right? 
right? So we produce energy every day. That's what The Matrix is about. You can watch that movie in The Matrix 1. It talks about, you know, the BTUs of energy you have. It's actually much more than just BTUs. It's not just biothermal units. It's a lot of shit that our bodies can do, right? But you better be ready to know that everything from psychic powers to, um, you know, um, conduction of the body, all these things are, are perfectly possible. And they're, they're well stipulated, in fact. In fact, many of you will need them because you'll live in mimetic civilizations like New York, where you can walk around and ask someone for a dollar, but to a man, to a brum, they can't actually look at you and tell you that they paid for torture, rape, abuse, and deception just to keep themselves paid around money that don't even solve their fucking problems, you see? You can't even buy a, a decently respectful life with commerce in America because they built stipulations that they got to keep you sick, buying everything from plastic surgery, fake health insurance, processed pills, GMO food, inefficient transportation, inefficient infrastructure, and energy systems. Everything is broken. It's about a tap and a meter. You fucking pay that shit till you go broke. Right, the middle class first. The the minimum wage class suffers the most because you guys can't even afford real estate in the city, right? So how's your market propped up? It's propped up by chicanery and fraud. It's a fucking race trap, right? You're not telling Heavy D, Brown Duck, it's one of the illest DJs at every record label that sells hip hop, right? That I'm broke and sleeping on the streets for your egos. Y'all gonna grow the fuck up for real, right? It ain't nothing nice. Y'all did not do enough real work. So grow the fuck up. You're not selling your anuses and paneling fucking indolence and stupidity just for your fucking cults. Right? Grow the fuck up. Honor the polarity of what you are as a man. It was always mothers, fathers, sons, and daughters. Honor the divine way. Right? The natural way. All this other shit is secondary. You're not paying yourselves to run up fake and squalid. Tell the fucking truth. So like I said, you know, you could use your biotech platform to stipulate a whole company, right? Can you do a, can you draw a map about an interior design plan? Can you organize products, right? Can you design a label? Can you design a fucking packaging? Can you do this shit? Of course you can, right? You can do it on pen and paper. You can do it with a laptop. Well, guess what? You can also do it with biotech, right? And by the time that shit is done several times over, you got to show up at companies you fucking stole because you admit you don't have to honor anyone that doesn't have legal validators in front of you, right? Uh, you look around, you see, wow, this guy built a whole fucking business just with his intelligence and a couple of computer companies and software. And uh, he doesn't realize that we could steal it right from him. There's only one of him and a thousand of us holding down cash registers, you know, ovens, baking, coffee, whatever the fuck it is. It could even be a fucking toy store. It could be Best Buy or Target for that matter, right? In this case, it is. And you'll steal those businesses right in front of us, talk shit, and shoot yourselves right out of the fucking job. They actually came and shot me for a lot of the corporate work I did. It's not corporate work. It's big, big, it's big business stipulations. There's no reason to walk into a building in Manhattan. You only got a real fucking story. You don't have validators. I have this fucking stupid ass little kid living in my house. I talked about incels. They're not even really your relatives. They ain't got a birth certificate. They don't have a license that matters. They don't have real validators from doctors or health insurance. Everywhere they go, there's a lie. You see? They did the same shit to me. I was sick as early as age six. Even up to 13 or 15, I couldn't get through life without migraines and all types of disease. I was like, damn, is there a real fucking doctor anywhere in New York that's got a story? Friends, the answer is no. They're all sick. Right? They're using the health insurance scam as a prop about props about props about several things. When they're done, they're going to try to kill me and even kill some of you. You know what? I don't die that easily. I talked about this. It'll be the most beautiful death. Or never. Consider wisely. So that's what it is, friends. Y'all just f sold fake and chicanery the whole fucking time. You got tricks for one thing, well, we're going to come up with solutions for something else. It's just not that easy anymore for you to basically fake them the, an entire career over a race war that you already lost. I talked about Warsaw to Gaza, right? You guys complained about ghettos in Germany, then you went and made them again, all right? Those are not ghettos of your cities and your civilizations. Those are ghettos of the mind, friend. You never purged that guilt and disease from your body, and you went everywhere selling fake and chicane everywhere you went, and you used the same base, fucking disgusting, you know, primitive, arcane, carnal tactics to rule people's ego and their pride. You never had a story. You're still worshiping temples and old dead gods that ain't solving fucking problems for you. Grow the fuck up to a man and to a brum. We gotta advance the consciousness. So y'all stuck and sick and stupid, all right? You know what the fuck y'all doing. So that's it, friends. I mean, I'm gonna tell you what the fuck it is. Like I said, they'll make a whole business about your biotech platform. You walk in and ask for free coffee, even to get paid, all they're looking to do is shoot you. So we cancel you motherfuckers, for real. I'm not sacrificing uh, you know, my name to a bunch of bankrupt corporate divas that are paying for game banging and thuggery just so you can look pretty on the gram or on television. You didn't do enough work, right? Count real math, count real money. We got to use industry to save a third of the global po populace. You're not looking pretty for no reason. You got to wake up every day with real problems to solve. You follow? We're not looking for these fucking boy toys or hot models just to wear a, a, a bunch of fucking lingerie or look pretty for the gram, wherever the fuck it is y'all starting, uh, just to do nothing, all right? Grow the fuck up. We got to solve real problems. You heard? That's the lesson there. We gotta solve our problems like adults. 
So like I said, you could use your biotech stipulations to build entire businesses, but they'll never let you see it, right? I feel like y'all don't want us around when you count counting money, right? You got a payroll, you got a place to do business, you show up, I show up to get paid for the work I do at Blizzard Entertainment. A lot of the ill-ass companies I work for, all y'all planning to is to fucking shoot me there, right? So I have a currency now called art that's independent of your markets. I don't need your respect. I'm going to tell you how it is you bankrupted yourselves, right? What does it take to make something like a large truck, or let's say a tank for that matter, right? Well, you need wheels, you need an engine, you need a fuselage, you need chairs, you need a steering wheel. You need uh, everything from, you know, the HVAC and, and the actual suspension and the the instruments that you use to engage with that vehicle to the actual transportation itself, the, the mechanism, the drivetrain that keeps it moving, and the fuselage, protect yourself from the, uh, the environment, have a way to get in and out of that vehicle, right? I'm just talking about a large truck or tank at this point. What if I told you that all this shit can be made without money now, right? We harvest resources directly, we use robotics, we use safe distribution and engineering to simulate these systems. That's it, friends. So I did all this shit without having to pay for a fucking banker to lie to me. You see how that works? All right, so we're going to become strictly a resources economy now. We don't need y'all to go places to lie for money. So when I walk into your bodegas and your fucking 7-Eleven, just honor to a brum that y'all played your fucking selves, right? You're giving me that shit for free. I walked into a 7-Eleven on fucking Queens Boulevard in Sunnyside. I basically took a sandwich and left. I don't need y'all fucking yapping at me about your fucking scanners and your UPC code. You ain't paying for shit. Right? You know, y'all know what the fuck y'all doing. A, right? You didn't pay for shit. Right? You admit it's a collective. Then not because of the internet. And you have screens everywhere. Right? That the international art community is worth more than your paychecks. Right? If you pay Malik $100 million today to actually do real math and real business relevant to my career, I'm not even talking about all the money I've earned. I'm just talking about $100 million right now. Walk into a bank and get that shit and fucking walk out. And I leave New York City, you're all bankrupt, right? Because you guys got felony arrears. It looks like you'll be stuck in New York, basically living in the prison you made, which is this community. Because uh, you, know, you can't sell fake and and say, let's just kill this guy, right? You're going to see me again, I'm telling you right now. It's not that easy. So, friends, you fucked up all your deals. I'm going to tell you what happened uh, like three days ago. I walked into a Bank of America ATM. I charged an electronic device I have. I plugged it into the outlet and I just sat there and waited. I think I charged it for maybe 45 minutes, not even. I checked my balance on the ATM. I have a cash app card. I actually kind of lost it. Fuck that. I'm not keeping it anymore. Put in my balance in. There was no money on it. I think I had like $10. I actually had less than that. I had $3 and I spent that. Oh, my, my, my old neighbor from Haiti sent me 50 bucks. Once again, you know, I told you guys about felony arrears. It looks like all of you, with the, even within viewing angle, of my community and my skills, most people end up in prison. I'm just saying. So you get a real fucking story. And it's not going to be nothing nice. I'm not sparing y'all indolence. Right. So I walked in this fucking Bank of America, charged my device. And as I'm walking out, a cop has the audacity to walk in and tell me, Are you loitering in this ATM? My fucking God. I actually think that the CEO of Bank of America is missing. I actually think that hundreds of billions of dollars are missing from Sony PlayStation, Microsoft Xbox, AMD Advanced Micro Devices, Microsoft as a corporation, Google as a corporation, Alphabet, Nintendo, Sony, and, and many other companies, and you know, I didn't pay for any of this shit, and you have the audacity to fucking tell me that I'm loitering inside of an American bank? I actually think that I might be one of the founding chairs of that company, right? Because you remember, you guys tried to kill the international banking community as of the last stock market crash. You were looking for anybody you could destroy that actually had real stipulations in terms of what they do for commerce. And you end up in other places looking fucking stupid. So now the police have the audacity to tell me that I've seen over 50 of you in the last six months. You even made a couple of arrests. I got released right away because you didn't have a real fucking story because you don't really know what you're doing. And you're trying to tell me that I'm loitering inside of a bank that is stolen? I might even be the president of Bank of America when I'm done with this shit. And you have the audacity to tell me that I'm loitering? This is the reason why your economy is fucked up, right? Because you know you're liars, all right? So grow the fuck up. We got to count real money now. All right, I put up with this little catering shit to make your egos feel better, right? You want to walk around looking nice? Fine. I'll make a little extra cash. I got to pay for my weed, right? And my fucking sandwiches, right? When I'm done with that, I got to count real money. You heard? So grow the fuck up. Y'all know what you're doing. Don't come around looking sweet either. Ridiculous.
Right? So don't claim that you you plan this shit as a planned bankruptcy, right? I can't have y'all fucking coming around again. You heard Trump himself say that we're not accepting cars sold in Latin America. Don't fucking try it, right? You're not getting ZR1s without us. In fact, in fact, y'all lost Chevrolet and Amtrak because of the last tarp bill, right? Because you cannot honor a bankruptcy and bad metal deals. You got to pay for real respect. You heard that, right? I took my time with this shit, but y'all going to go the fuck up right in front of me and you're going to hear what I'm saying. It ain't nothing nice. We're not going to pander chicanery and fraud so you can exploit advanced technology to make money and make yourselves look expensive. Y'all fucking dollars got canceled. Everybody got to lie now. And y'all working together as an integrated cult of frauds. So you're going to go the fuck up. You heard what I'm saying? Ridiculous, right? Over, I think about 50 of you I've seen in the last six months. A couple of arrests. And y'all talking to me directly and you ain't saying shit. I'm talking about the NYPD, the Sheriff's Department. I, I think I haven't really seen many state troopers. I think y'all are mature enough not to even come down into New York City. Because there's no reason to stipulate the rest of New York State being bankrupt. You wouldn't be that stupid to lie to a whole state. Or would you? Looks like Walmart and Best Buy everywhere are selling y'all chicane. So y'all gonna get a real story. I'm telling you right now. Right? I, I saw Tesla on their website talking about the supercharger default. Don't fucking try it. You didn't pay for that shit. Right? I saw McLaren talking about anti-slavery. Don't try that shit either. Right? It's not that difficult. To a man or to a brum, you walk up, hand me 100 grand cash, and you start telling the truth about what the fuck y'all doing. You know what this MK Ultra shit is. It's high-level espionage mixed with industry overlapping with military work. Right? I'm not going bankruptcy. I'm not going bankrupt for a war that y'all faked. And disavowed. And you used to disavow your own intelligence. You know what you're doing. That's it, friends. Keep it lean. Do real work. And have a real name and a real story. You're going to notice how everyone around you rather change their story and fake chicane and play for, pay for everything from brain damage to shootings. Um, they actually came to Q Gardens Village Mall and shot me while I was sleeping in my mother's living room on her couch. And they tried to do this more than once. And they tried to drug me. So what's going to happen to y'all is we're going to put y'all under the fucking jail. You're not going to make calls about your indolence and claim you're doing real work. Right? You should have just started right where the fuck you're at, speaking correctly about your goals, about your aims, and about what you want to accomplish. And work with people that can get you there. Right? Uh, at this point, your education, your banking system, and your real estate are all bankrupt. No one really did real work in those industries. So uh, if you've got a title and a deed to a building, keep it. You know, I, I mean, I'd rather you see you either stay there or die there, or make sure your family does well, or that children are born, or you find love somehow. But that's the only thing that's going to save your ass. I mean, at least somebody had to actually claim that they sold that building and honored it and, and handed it over. But, you know, New York is vagrant. I don't need y'all claiming you steal buildings or that you're actually doing real real estate work. I don't want to hear that shit. Um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I go in Queens, it's basically Kew Garden Hills. I'm still KG from Naughty by Nature, right? I'm still Terminator X from Public Enemy, Public Enemy, right? I'm still Ill Will from Bravehearts, right? I'm still all those ill fucking DJs. I'll spit, sit in the COVID lab until fucking four in the morning doing freestyle with my Nine Tech boutique. In fact, I got to do it because to watch you watch me make beats in person means you go get a gun and you planning to kill a nigga. But you ain't the ones, all right? Y'all play diddles. Y'all play bitch. You ain't doing real fucking work. So recognize, all right? My family's not going to suffer for your insufficiency. Y'all were all criminal thugs. Y'all are pseudo thugs from the jump. So go the fuck up. We got to honor real work. You're not kidnapping kids from Haiti and keeping us broke in New York so you could talk shit. It'll be the last time we fuck with y'all. You heard that for real. You heard it for real, alright? So I don't want to hear y'all complaining and talking shit on the internet, alright? Your metal stolen, your design is stolen, material arts, experimental art, even software development. Um, you know, banking, real estate, all these industries are done. You pick, you pick the most quiet, most humble... Uh, people you could find and you peddle disease and distortion on them until they either give up and die or you look for another fucking supplicant to rape and extort until you're, d you're done with the motherfuckers, right? Um, you know, don't accept paralysis nerves play for sex. I went to a little fucking weird ass catering cult in New Jersey where some chick fucking sprayed uh, some bullshit on my hand and sucked my dick and said, look, you know, this is how it is. We, we can't let you see us sexually abusing you. I'm saying, look, you're going to do it once. Right, you see how easy it is. You do it twice. You bring a whole fucking cult of sluts around. I fuck eight or nine of you all together. The third time, you do the same shit. Except for when you're done, you shoot me and kill my ass, right? You see how that works? So you ain't have a real fucking story ever. It's a rape cult, okay? If you can't honor your snatch and just be naked in the light, I don't I don't need you around. So grow the fuck up. We cancel you dullards, right? Don't don't act so desperate. You got to get a real story. I think what happened is because of the internet, you guys created a protoculture of secondary stipulatory, stipulatory shit. You made up fake careers, fake stories, fake lies. You have fake PR. You have a lie in another fucking lies to sell, lies to buy everywhere you go. And even the, the news and the shit you publish is not real shit. And you're always selling fake everywhere. That's what I'm saying. Get back to the real, friends. You don't need a secondary cult about the abuses you pander to, okay? 
So like I said, material arts, the shit that y'all see is bankrupt. I can't have y'all actually claiming that you actually bought hurricanes, hurricanes, the Lamborghini hurricanes, uh, after you guys admitted the Gallardo stolen, after you admitted Aventador stolen, don't even fucking try this shit. I swear to God, I will go back to my own car company and never see you assholes again. And don't ever tell me that I gotta sell fake for these companies. Don't even tell me tow trucks are a real job, right? Don't even tell me Carvana's a real job, that you made a whole fake fucking cult about delivering stolen metal. Don't even tell me cars.com is real. I'll put up with Cadillac. Right, you guys claim you need something nice. All right, fine. But now you got to pay the fucking piper and come correct. You heard that? You heard that for real? All right. So large-scale resource engineering now. I don't want to hear about um, airlines going bankrupt. I don't want to hear you guys crying about your jobs. All right? I, ha I had to create these advanced systems. I can't even go anywhere and have 10 people tell me the truth. Let alone half your fucking careers admitting you make a whole fake civilization of people. Not a civilization, but at least a city where you all fucking lie. Right? I don't need the side chatter and the mnemonics. We got to talk real business, real money. We got to make sure people get paid. It is raw papers. I had to fucking cancel raw. Y'all keep raw everywhere. And everybody's around talking about this elusive boss that y'all scared of. Grow the fuck up. You ain't selling nothing in front of nobody. Right? We talk about resolution. You got to make sure problems get solved to a man and to a brum. Or keep your diddle bitch asses in that fucking hurt box. We not fucking with y'all, all right? The last thing I got to say is they actually took my kids, women that raped me, they put them in Israeli communities, Jewish communities, mind you, it ain't nothing. You know, we're not accepting kidnapping in my tribe. And then train these young women to actually attack me and peddle vagrancy and rape in my community again. It looks like you're about to create another second generation of biotech uh, super soldiers that you raped and extorted. For everything from their sperm to their intelligence to the systems that they build. You are disgusting and pathetic. We will not see you motherfuckers a second time. We will not. We will not. We don't need you all vampires. It's disgusting. Disgusting. I have my own kids actually claiming I'm a threat to them. I don't even know where these kids went. I don't know what happened to y'all. You basically raped me and turned my own children into fucking mimetic spies. It's disgusting. So I hate to say it, kids. Uh, watch the movie The Usual Suspects. It's to the point now where I can't make exceptions for you. You're going to have to make real choices. If the people around you are lying to you and selling you fake, as soon as you turn 18, make sure they discuss an investment platform. Make sure you get a genetics test. It's to the point where I can't even use the hospitals in New York to do basic stipulations like make sure I got a genetics result so that if my kids come to this system and say, hey, is my father, Brom Ducats, Malik Francois, one of the most legendary DJs in hip-hop ever, that they can get a real stipulations about who I am and if I'm doing all right. I think you guys made a whole fake social worker called my family had money that's what the whole Sally Mae bankruptcy was in 1992 we were doing Street Fighter 2 hyper fighting the year's 2020 now right we're making Street Fighter 5 champion edition you ever fucking think I didn't have money to pay for the most basic civilities like babysitters like doctors like natal care like social workers you think I can't pay for that shit no you crash your own fucking bank uh, you crash your whole fucking banking system to rape and extort my family it'll be the last fucking time I fuck with y'all alright so those of you that know what you're doing make sense of what's going on if you if you think you gotta uh, categorize me as a criminal vagrant or a thug do that shit if you want imagine yourself in my position having an entire city rape you and try to torture you even celebrities jumping in the spear and killing themselves over sacrificial weddings when ain't fucking shit. You ain't you never had a real story claiming you had to extort me and my collective for money. Don't fucking try it, alright? You're all sick and vagrant, right? Last thing I'm gonna tell you is don't make bipolar disorder an excuse. Don't ever let someone tell you not to tell anyone that you're sick. Are y'all for real? You actually made a disease, told people you can't cure it, told people to lie about it, and use it as a psychological warfare tactic where people could just go around anywhere trying to shoot, stab, and kill each other over fucking nothing? You all are disgusting individuals. You should have cured that shit, worked out your reason as to who you are, what you want to accomplish, and left all the fucking dulled ass vagrancy and bullshit behind. You all are disgusting human beings. I cannot believe you. So I got sued by Sally Mae for the fact that you guys contaminated the banking system. You tried to steal my name, my signature, and even the work I do, even the bank accounts I stipulate, and, the, and, and leave me as a fucking dead vagrant, as a fucking vampire, or like a fucking Dred Scott case leftover of a Voodoo Fumayi uh, murder victim that you claim cannot actually have human rights. You guys think you guys are so indelibly pure that you count money and we don't? And you guys are counting a reserve of talent and skills that we've stipulated for multiple decades in 3D art and experimental game development and design. And you think you're running up on my bank account, my name and my career and keeping me sick so you guys can monetize your abuses. It'll be the last motherfucking time. I swear. I swear. I will not. I will not. Don't even fucking try it. You better learn your asses right. How dare you? Unbelievable. So you guys are training my own kids to abuse me. This is amazing.
Amazing. My own mother did this shit. Her and her sisters was claiming they were working at a daycare and that you scam yourselves into bankruptcy. You're all disgusting human beings. Right? It's, it's an in vitro fertility cult, right? And the reason why they do this, friends, I'm going to tell you, you got to read the book Voyages 2 by the Azurite Press. You got to go get that book. I talked about that in the last video. Um, the more powerful energetic satellites, the ones that you know, are part of large satellite companies, the ones that are part of uh, large complex data systems, the ones that are part of the larger network of um, what I like to call local planetary traffic involving everything from drones to complex uh, metal metalloid communication systems to really just satellite systems, everything from Hubble telescope to the direct TV satellites that we use. All these systems are part of family businesses. You're not just going to barge your way into my fucking sex life, rape me and attack my kids and claim that you run in an international entertainment conglomerate. No, fuck out of here. Y'all don't do real work. That's what happened to PlayStation 3. Y'all claiming I was sick, bankrupt, and dumb so you could run that company? Y'all fucking idiots. You ain't doing shit, all right? Keep trying this shit over and over. Watch how you end up looking stupid for companies you stole and never really honored. So you're going to grow the fuck up. You can't even sell Bugattis in New York now. All right? I don't even know what happened to this company. I notice that you never see them anywhere in New York City. Right? Because you're part of an embargo. Y'all got stuck on stupid. you stealing companies. You're not honoring your work. So when you're done with this shit, we're going to get all this shit back. I'm telling you right now, your egos are not that expensive. Right? There's not enough real work being done in New York. Don't even tell me Wall Street's poorly stipulated. I won't even fucking try it. Right? You tell me I went down there as a waiter? They actually made a catering event one year. They had me walking around picking up glasses and plates in the uh, Wall Street um, trading floor. Right? I did that shit for six hours. I was done. I left. I went home. Right? Now you guys are doing kidnappings, robberies, rapings, abductions. Fuck that. It'll be the last fucking time we fuck with y'all. Y'all so fucking stupid. You should have canceled this lie as soon as you figured out that you faked your entire credential systems. You'll fake your whole university systems to get at me. Y'all disgusting human beings, all right? Grow the fuck up. You pay for this sacrificial banquet of conceit and abuse with castrations, slashings, shootings, druggings, mobbings, rapings, all that shit. I did it all, man. I experienced the whole shit. And I, I remain fuckless and untouched. Y'all disgusting human beings, all right? Your tricks and chicanery ain't shit. It's just too fucking predictable. Your own plan vagrancy. You're spoiled little bitches. Grow the fuck up. I still see a couple of you walking around, always enamored by your phones, but too nervous to wake the fuck up, lift your fucking heads, and start telling the truth, friends. We gotta do real business at the, at the level, speed of commerce, all right? But instead of honoring that, you guys decided, can I just fucking kill this guy? Is there a place I can find him? Is he sleeping somewhere? And you turn into gangs, Gestapos, and pseudo thugs. You gonna try that shit? It'll be the last time we fuck with you, I swear. You will not make it. You will not make it. You know, we're just too stubborn. We have much bigger goals than you. Uh, if you want to analyze it this way, at this point, it's about the IQ of, uh, of intelligence. Uh, a gun or a knife is not gonna save your ass. If it was that easy, you know, I mean, it's just not, it's not a real solution, friend. I'm sorry. It's gun or knife is not gonna save you or any of the drugs you all abuse. Uh, but you're going to create these cults and you're going to notice how they eventually destroy you. If it was that easy, you know, that's kind of the thing is many diplomats, directors, developers like me were dying in the 70s and 80s. They were finding ways to kill us. So we had to upgrade our methods. We had to be smarter. Um, and still, you're still in this little cult where you think all you have to do is just, you know, pay for a little, you know, a trick lock, a little, a little, a little, you know, drink a mixture, a little spray, a little, you know, is there someone selling a pistol around here? Is there a way we can go get a gun and tell me to come back? You'll actually steal a business. You'll tell me to leave for two hours, come back, and you'll plan to shoot me. Y'all are the most disgusting, ineffective, indolent human beings. It's just such a sad story. I wish it didn't have to be this pathetic. The people that can keep their conscience and do real work is such that you guys need millions of dollars. You don't even know what to fucking do with it because you end up at the top trying to buy products that you stole from developers like myself. You see? That's why y'all fucked up. You got to get a better story. So keep trying this shit, but I mean, it's just a level of stupidity now such that you guys are, you guys are endowed with riches and you don't even have motivation to learn. You know, you don't want to do anything. Uh, and you end up buying products from people that you stole shit from. So now we're not honoring this fucking double dipping, uh, fraud, pandering chicanery. You're really going to have to be somebody real solving real problems. That's the lesson, all right? So, friends, I'm going to try to help you, but I, I just don't know what to say. I mean, I actually think that you created a war really within yourselves, and then you projected it out onto others. And it's to the point where there's just not enough of you doing real legit shit to even stipulate y'all having to be anywhere telling the truth. So, um, you know, mill that gear for your hurt, pain, and sickness until it kills you. But you're going to need to actually tell a real story. That's the lesson there. So, uh, don't come around fucking with Heavy D or Brum Ducket to claim that you fucking with mine. Don't even try that shit. Right? DuckTales was a sacrificial little TV show. We made a lot of these little shows for you guys. I had my hand slashed, my arm attacked, got attacked in my face. I had y'all trying to hack my body to pieces. And I still... Still, recomposited.
And you ain't got a fucking story. Uh, look at you now, you little bitches. So trust me, it ain't nice, all right? And I'm not letting y'all get away with that sweet, sweet ass little, uh, you know, hurting your egos and in your pride, claiming you telling a real story. Uh, you know, y'all will get deaded right where the fuck we find you. I'm not playing. So start to take shit seriously, man. I'm telling you, I was that good kid. I, every day I, I said, my mom, papa, what do I have to do to get to the land of the righteous? You know, I want to have a family. I want to see myself have sons and daughters. I want to wake up to a world that matters. Uh, and they say, just keep doing what we tell you, son, and you're going to get there. And I had to say, friend, but that was that was not true. Everyone around me basically became insane, very thick from cocaine addiction to a lot of the drugs that you sponsored. And y'all didn't know what the fuck y'all doing. You didn't even spend time in the, in the science books that you sold, right? So you got stuck on stupid, mining a reality that's stipulatory, uh, and where they'll sell you chicanery, fake, and vagrancy, and they'll give you a check. All you gotta do is come around and show up and accept the lies they tell. So, unfortunately, friends, that's not a real job. It's not. It's not gonna save your asses. So, I right, grow the fuck up. We gotta do real work. All right. So, like I said, the point of this video today is don't tell me to f that I'm fucking loitering in the Bank of America. All right. Don't have the police coming around looking for me. Y'all know who the fuck you are and what y'all doing. All right. It ain't nothing nice anymore. At this rate, your very badges, the very declarations you have from Congress are gonna dissolve. We don't need the NYPD walking around looking stupid. You guys made a fake drug war. Right? I asked a man on the street for a dollar. He said, I don't have a dollar, but I'll give you a cigarette. Of course you give me a cigarette. You know it's going to poison me and kill me. That's why. Right? You know it's an easy trick to sell. Get addicted to something that you know is going to make you sick. You can't even walk five miles if you smoke tobacco. Right? You suck squatting where the fuck you're at. You see the lesson there? You can't even move far enough. You can barely even breathe. Right? I see immigrants all over the world. Y'all coming to New York City and you get stuck on the, the, the disease y'all sell. Y'all piffing yourselves into sickness and even saying, oh, I can't use tobacco because of my job. So they're saying they got you fucking slanged up and sick. Right? They got you fucked up and sick. So figure out what y'all doing. That's real work. Right? Most of your experiment, our community, the artwork we sell, that we make and we develop, it's bankrupt. I don't get paid. I don't get honored at a bank. I don't even get honored at a fucking dealership with metal y'all stole. All right? Do you see what you're doing? We're going to see you again, right? You're going to go the fuck up. You're going to learn. It looks like even your baseball teams and your sports teams now, they ain't even got any fucking presidents. That's what I'm saying. You actually need people that really do real work and put money down to invest in your community. You're not keeping me stupid and broke as a fucking waiter in a catering cult about rapes y'all sold yourselves and about fake weddings y'all planned and about a banquet of torture and indolence y'all peddle over a cult that ain't doing real fucking work. You got to do real work in philosophy, science. You have to be empirical about commerce and industry. You're not putting in God we trust on dollars and keeping us broke and stupid for your fucking indolent, missing ghosts. They dead ghosts. You heard? We got to talk to the real ones. Empirically real. If they're not manifesting in present, then just resign them to the isness. They're just a lost idea in the cosmos. They're a mystery. They don't give a fuck about you. Right? Nobody's jumping out of a spaceship to save your ass. They don't give a fuck. You are the ones that you're waiting for. Tell the truth right where you are at, empirically into the realm of the real. And don't wait for some fucking hat or some sermon or some ceremony to save your ass. It ain't nothing, all right? It ain't nothing. We don't need any of that fake shit. It's not suits anymore. It's hoodies now. You work for Uriel. So that's it, friend. I got to keep this shit sorted, all right? Like I said, you're not telling me I'm squatting in the Bank of America and I'm loitering. Y'all go the fuck up. Y'all know your, your CEOs are missing. Right, you know an entire committee of laptop developers and developers that make controllers for PS2. I mean, in fact, y'all shot me for Afterburner, a Sega game we made for AM2, uh, right? When I was uh, in college in Georgia. And you ain't never had a real fucking story then. And you're still coming around looking for respect and squalor. You know what the fuck y'all doing. You know who I am, too. You know you'd rather change my name and bankrupt your own legal system and the economy than address me as a man. So it ain't a real story. And it ain't gonna be nothing nice. I paced myself. And watch you lie every fucking year until I realize it's it. It's over. I don't need this shit anymore. You're not doing enough. All right, that's it, friends. We're going to get you a real story. We're going to try to fix your economy. I know not all of you are that evil. Uh, but I know enough of you are fucking stupid that you'll sell lies to yourselves and your own family and try to make me look stupid. So watch the movie The Usual Suspect, friends. We didn't need you all to lie any fucking day. Uh, you know, you guys will pander this narrative to the end. Um, but, you know, you'll use any trick you got. You know, you'll deprive me of intimacy, you'll deprive me of food, you'll deprive me of real work, you'll deprive me of real credentials, you'll deprive me of proper lawyers, you'll deprive me of doctors, you'll deprive me of an entire legal system that has to lie to keep this fucking prop going, right? But the nations you stipulate are bankrupt. All that you have is money. You don't have real resources. You don't even need your talents, right? Because no matter how hard you work, you can't tell us as your peers, which are humans, right, that from just another tribe, the truth. So if you're that insecure, we didn't need you then, we don't need you now. Right? But you're going to cancel the work that you did. Hold on. You're going to cancel the work you did. Right? Not enough of it is legit. Alright? So go the fuck up. 
to a man to a brother. We gotta solve our problems. We gotta advance the consciousness. If it's not you, it's gonna be somebody else. I'm saying. Um, but I'm gonna see you twice, many of you, and you're gonna get a visit from Grim. All right. And if you're not making sense, you're gonna end up under the jail on other planets. So you're gonna figure out what you're doing for real. All right. Let's see. We're not selling fake shit or chicanery. Uh, make sure to uh, 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 advance the consciousness every day. Like I said, children, um, my progeny out there, uh, they raped me sexually as well to me very bad. Some days I'd wake up and an entire week was missing. I couldn't figure out what the fuck happened. I know y'all make cults about, you know, these bankrupt fucking Shivas that will go up everywhere. They'll chain you and tie you to a bed, and when they're done, they'll fucking castrate you. And that's kind of what the whole proto-cult that these pop divas are. They ain't got a real fucking story. I don't want to hear you about you guys having bipolar disorder. You got millions of dollars and no fucking common sense, all right? Get a real fucking doctor, get a real story. I'm not going to listen to the, the legal system claiming that you're going to bankrupt us and make a little mnemonic town. Uh, it'll be the last fucking time we see you, right? Make sure that you know what your rights are and that you don't let people sell fake around you. If that's the case, we, we show up where y'all at and we, we, we bring the hurting to you. right? But you're not claiming that you're keeping us sick so you can abuse us and our families. Then you are not one of us. You are not in my tribe. You're not one of my peers. You're not resolving me, all right? So we ditch your dull -ass asses to the side. We're going to see you motherfuckers again for this fraud and chicanery. The internet promoted a lot of problems, created a lot of problems. It created obsession, and it tilted the market out of favor, out of people selling fake fucking shit. You heard that? Listen to what I said again. Listen to what I said again, okay? The internet created a lot of problems, right? It opened the world, a banquet of eyes, to intelligence and the intellect of our shared communities everywhere, engaging with our phones, our tablets, our laptops, and actually having to tell the truth about our experience because you can't live your life as a life. You're suffering, you need healing. It's an emergency. It's not even an emergency. It's a direct causal relationship to your survival. Don't let words or trickery bankrupt you and keep you sick or die or let you die. I'm not talking about bankruptcy there. I'm talking about fraud and sabotage. You gotta be somewhere real and honoring real systems. Right? Don't let someone lead you someplace just to drug you and shoot you. That's not the way this fucking shit works. You're going to really have to solve problems, all right? So I'm going to tell it to you again. The internet created a structural problem for global economics. Everywhere in the world had to have a real story about who they are and what they want to resolve, what you want to be, what kind of outcomes you want in life, right? With that being said, people that actually stipulated, the software developers, the tech developers, the people that make interfaces, the people that make the hardware, the machines, the measurements, the design, the engineering, the, inter the information technology, the manufacturing, all that shit, all these people were part of a system where we so pr promote solutions. Everyone that's outside of this core culture, you guys became a cult about extortion. You didn't do enough real work. So you end up needing to be everywhere lying about what you are and what you do. And that's why you got fucked up. That's what this COVID shit is. It's a core bankruptcy, all right? Every time I see you, tell me put on fucking mask for nothing. You need to see my face. You need to know who the fuck I am. You heard? Right? Don't talk about the movie The Shadow. Because we put a lot of this shit in The Shadow. We know where these predictable government bankruptcy tricks are. Right? It's always the same shit when there's a monetary embargo or fraud. Right? The government would rather fake a scam than admit that they got to go to prison. Right? In front of the international community. So y'all need to grow the fuck up. It looks like you fake several wars and even catastrophes to kill kids like me. In fact, specifically me. Read my social media. All right? My Facebook and my Twitter. I, 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 did, I, delegate, I delegate strict knowledge. I tell you what the fuck it is. I don't hide nothing. That's what the tiger style is. Right? We got to purge the guilt and disease. They're going to use a lot of tricks. They're going to get into your psychology real bad. They're going to mine that gear for your hurt. They're going to make you so embarrassed and so ashamed and so guilty you can't even resolve your hurt. And they'll use that to tr get you to turn on everyone else. If they can't, they'll just keep you sick or kill you. That's what this MK Ultra shit is, right? You guys failed yourself in your community and your continents. You'd rather pando chicanery and fraud, d d uh, indolence and disease, than do real work. So don't tell me that I'm fucking indigent. You never had a real legal system, or a medical system, or real estate, or banking, right? So y'all fucked up for real. You learn it today, all right? So that's it, friends, right? Malik Rousseau Francois, the real one. Same name my whole life, right? I'm in Queens County, New York State. This country is the United States of America. It's 7.21 p.m. September 15th, 2020. That is all, friends. End transmission. Brome Duckets.